Hello guys, in this video we're gonna explore the concept of program counter. So the program counter is actually, you know, a register that holds the address of the current instruction being executed in the by micro by the microprocessor. Okay, either MIPS or any other microprocessor. And you know, all the uh, you know uh, all the you know microprocessors depend on that counter or that you know uh, register to hold the value uh, or to point to the value of of the instructions in the memory. So we know that if you have a memory. So, you know, the text segment in the memory will hold your instructions. And each instruction, as we know in MIPS, takes four bytes. Okay. So, the program counter is a register that holds the address of the first byte, uh, you know, of, uh, you know, the instruction being executed. Okay. Then, so, uh, for the second instruction, we're going to add four to to point to the you know the second instruction or basically you know in a specific you know the you know the first byte of the second instruction and so on as the program continues okay so you know uh, uh, some other you know uh, uh, architecture call it instruction pointer which may be better naming for uh, rather than program counter but the most famous uh, naming uh, is 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 program counter or BC. And it's a register. So this register holds the, an address. This address is basically an, an, an instruction in memory to be executed or being executed. So for example, here we have a program of four instructions. Let's assume, uh, you know, for the sake of the example, you know, the first instruction at, uh, you know, uh, at, at location zero, shift left logic T1, S3, and two. So uh, once you know the program, you know fetch uh, or the microprocessor fetches this instruction and execute it, you know to execute this, the next instruction is a BC will be incremented by four, and then we're gonna read the next instruction in the memory, then increment again by four, and read you know the third instruction and so on. Okay, usually we express, you know, addresses in, in the form of hexadecimal. So this 0x means hexadecimal. And hexadecimal goes, you know, for the basic digits of hexadecimal goes from 0, you know, to 9. Then 10 is A, B, C, D, E, F. So from basically from 0 to 15. That's why here C is 12. So, a 10, 11, 12. Okay? So, that's basically the program counter. In the next video, we're going to explore, you know, the concept of the stack, the stack memory, which is really important. Then, in the next videos, we're going to go in, in details with, you know, uh, the procedures in MIPS or how to make function call in a, in, in a MIP microprocessor. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.